drink too much coffee, there can be a problem. They keep you up at night, that's no bueno. But the kid in this next video might have had some caffeine or maybe something else more sinister because what you're about to see in this baby monitor footage might have you thinking this baby is possessed. child though that's some amazing balance and I, I was so intrigued by this we had to get in touch with the parents and those parents are joining us and uh, Kate and Chuck obviously I'm assuming you saw that footage and were as alarmed as all of us are in the studio and watching at home what did you think when you saw that we were pretty shocked and terrified for sure um, oh. I was just very blessed that he um, didn't get hurt did that wake you up that time or did you only see it after the fact well we saw the video after the fact the next morning he actually ended up falling out of his crib um, shortly after that I was outside of the room when it happened but I wasn't watching the video as it occurred I mean, Connor has crazy balance. I think that's he, a gymnast. He's a future does Olympic does gymnast. Does he do this stuff all the time? No. <laughs> no. So I'm curious, obviously, after learning of his gymnastics abilities, what have you done in terms of his crib? <clears throat> <laughs> We're in his room. You can see it's, it's yeah. gone. It happened one time, and, and now he's in a toddler bed. Yeah. And that, and that may be the takeaway. <laughs> You know, if a child's crawling through it, make sure you have a mattress that's lower to the, make sure it's lower to the floor. And, and, and I love the monitor, because otherwise, how would you know? It's a miracle that these things, you know, I'm dating myself, but obviously there wasn't this high tech. We had baby monitors, but not the night vision, James Bond video surveillance kind. And so you would, you would know it's time to drop the bed or get a, t a day bed or get rid of the crib when you woke up and their your toddler or baby was standing right next to you <laughs> you know and so i said when that happens i will get rid of the crib and you know my daughter is 16 and a half she's still in her crib no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> when you see them and they're standing up in the crib holding on to the rails like you know they're getting ready you know the next step is they're gonna make great escape well there. he's adorable we're just so ready. glad that connor's doing well thank you so much kate and chuck for joining us and i do think it's important for all parents watching just to be aware of what the appropriate bed is for your child and if you're not sure work with your pediatrician just last thing you want is to wake up to your, your oh. child having fallen out of their bed and injuring themselves because the major concern there is not really broken bones, although that's a big concern. The big injury concern is a head injury in that scenario.